Hi guys, I'm back with another review today. So today's today's movie review is gonna be a Rebel Born. So I'm gonna seriously tell you right now that there's a lot of textualizations in this movie. If you're gonna watch this movie, there's a lot of textual textualizations in this movie, so be aware. Um, I'm going to read a lot of those. I'm going to read all the textualizations from the movie. Uh, There's some battles in there they talk about in this movie. But I'm not going to spoil what the result of the, of the battle was. So don't worry about that. You're going to have to work. You have to. You have to watch the movie yourself to learn what the the end result of the battle was. If you didn't, if you don't find out what the battle result is, uh, I'll go look at Wikipedia. They'll tell you what the result is because the movie's kind of ref- the movie's kind of confusing. They don't tell you who wins the battle or not. But anyway. A Rebel Born is a very good movie. I I like this movie. This was a good war movie, even though it had a lot of textualizations in it. Um, yeah, it, it was a really good movie. I like it. It was a good war movie. I like a lot of good war movies. Um, uh, I tried to look at Rotten Tomatoes and Wikipedia to see how good this movie did in the box office. It doesn't say anything, so I don't know how much, how many people like the movie or not. They didn't say anything. The only thing they said about it is it's based off a book, book, so, and I haven't read the book, so, you know, what am I going to do? But, but yeah, I thought it was a really good movie. I, I liked it. Um, basically the movie is about, uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Nathan Brad, uh, Bradford. Nathan Bradford, Nathan Bradford, Nathan Bradford Forrest, the Lieutenant General of the Confederate, the Confederate Army, so, um, I'm going to tell you a lot of, all the battles in the movie take place in the southern, they, they take place in the southern part, not the northern part, it, it takes, it's, it, most of the time it's happening in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. So, yeah. Um, I thought it was a really good movie. I liked it. Um, I recommend you guys go watch the movie. If you like horror movies, I recommend you watch it. If you don't like horror movies, uh, well, they, you might think they're boring if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. But anyway, I'm going to read a couple. I'm going to read these textualizations. So, this is before the movie starts. It starts in Her Hernando, Mississippi. Mississippi. And then about one... Th- uh, no, wait. Wait a minute. I forgot something. Uh, it, 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 it starts in Hernando, Mississippi. 20 years before the the war between the states and the civil war happens about one third in the movie uh it it gives you more information about Nathaniel Forrest and what he did kind of um the over the course of the next 20 years Nathaniel Bradford Forrest established and expanded his business operation and became one of the, of the most uh, wealthiest individuals in the Deep South. Pretty much. Uh, in 1861, with the, the dark clouds of the conflict looming on the horizon, that terror the tariff war between the North and the South wars 
taking the toll on Forrest's business. About one third in the movie, The War Starts War. Shortly after Abraham Lincoln was inaugurated president of the United States of America in 1861, the secessionist for forces attacked Fort Summit in South Carolina. The war between the states had begun two months after the hostilities broke out. Nathaniel uh, Bedford Forrest and his son William paid a visit to a Confederate Confederate State Army Recruitment Office in Tennessee. Although Nathaniel Bedford Forrest joined the Confederate Confederate Hold on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, joins the Confederate Army. On July 21st, 1862, Nathaniel Bedford Forrest is promoted to the to to the rank of a renegade in the Army of the Confederate, Ar Confederate States of America. Uh, here's the first battle of the movie, a raid near Vic Vicksburg, Mississippi. I'm not gonna tell you who the winner is. Oh yeah, I, I skipped something that happened before that. Uh uh Join the Confederate Army as a private. He was very quickly rose to the rank of cavalry sergeant because of his exemplary riding skills and his ability to lead the lead uh lead uh, pe lead people the first battle of the movie takes place the first battle of uh i, ca I can't say this name it's a southern name it's hard to say mara mur Murfreesburg, I think. Murfreesburg. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who the winner is. And then they meet at Intensity, July 13th of 1862. The, the House of, uh, of uh, Confederate General Sam Samuel Ho Hooper of Richmond, Virginia. That was before the other one. On July 21st of 1862. Um, on July 10th of 1864. Nathaniel Bradford Force. Now referred as the Wizard of the Saddle. Led 3,500 men against a, a federal force. that that uh, That's of 8,000. At Bryce Crossroads, Mississippi. I'm not going to tell you who won that battle. As uh, storm clouds ascended and tricks of machine at at re, uh, re, uh, re, 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 reconstruction began, Nathaniel Forrest became Forrest returned to his home and business. He had a uh, frequent visual visitors. In 1867, Nathaniel ba Bedford Forrest joined the Ku Klux Klan, a.k.a. the K KKK, and at the request of Klan membership, became their leader. Forrest resigned his position when the, within a year of the organization just after 
year after later citing dysentery, disarray, and and chows in in a group and increase use of violence and other uh, other 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 means that Forrest described as counter counterproductive. So basically basically this movie is about Nathaniel Bradford Forrest, the Lieutenant General of the Confederate Army. And it pretty much takes you through his beginning of his life and then through the the Civil War and what battles he was in and what happened after. Uh if that's pretty much the short term of uh of uh Nathaniel Forrest. If you wanna learn more about Nathaniel Forrest and more of what he done, uh I'll make a video about him. If you want me to make a video ab about Nathaniel Forrest, more about him, please like, subscribe, and comment. And comment if you want to see more. And this was a really good movie, even though it had a lot of textualizations. Uh, I feel like they should make more movies about Confederate generals. And I think they should make more of movies about union generals as well like you know they make a lot of movies about abraham lincoln and robert e lee which in the movie it says he uh surrendered at the end of course they lost but yeah they they make too many movies about abraham lincoln and robert e lee like make some movies about other generals like Nathaniel Forrest, but you know, altogether, um, there's not a lot of information about this movie. There's like, like, not a lot of information about how many people liked it. Rotten Tomatoes didn't even talk about it, so, um, I really recommend if you like civil, if you like civil war stuff and you like war movies, you should watch this movie. Uh, a rebel born but either way guys i hope you like this review today i hope i didn't talk too long um i really i'm putting this out relatively earlier today so you know more people can watch it I, so yeah if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time peace